let's talk about the Controlled Access Point Manager, which Mikrotik calls CAPSMAN. This is a system that allows distributing configurations over wireless interfaces to a large number of devices. Mikrotik routers use CAPSMAN to configure and synchronize a MESH of wireless access points or controlled access points. This is extremely useful for setting up multiple access points with the exact same Wi-Fi name or SSID and security settings. And a dedicated guest network, for example. It is important to note that this technology only works with Mikrotik. Meaning it's not possible to connect other devices running on router OS to CAPSMAN. Behind the scenes CAPSMAN uses either MAC. Layer 2 or UDP packets over IP, Layer 3. To discover and configure the access points. CAPSMAN enables the control of clients connected to your Mikrotik access points. Providing the capability to redirect client device traffic to the controller. All of this communication can be secured and encrypted via Datagram Transport Layer Security which is very similar to Transport Layer Security used on the web but for UDP packets. Router OS takes care of generating the Certificate Authority Certificate and the associated keys. It can be installed on any device running the Router OS operating system. Including various Mikrotik devices such as HAP Lite, HAP Mini, HAP AC2, Cloud Router Switch, and others. There are general CAPSMAN settings located in the CAPSMAN section. These settings include several subsections. Enable CAPSMAN through the Manager section and the Enabled checkbox. CAPSMAN can be configured centrally through the Configuration section, where you gather the desired configuration. For example, configurations for access points operating on 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Configurations for guest networks. Or configurations for specific local. Private networks. It allows you to configure and make changes to various interfaces. Configuration can be organized in different sections. Such as security. Data paths. Channels. These settings can then be added to the main configuration. Providing flexibility in working with the CAPSMAN controller. CAPSMAN can also configure an access point or CAP running on the same device as CAPSMAN itself. However, it might require additional firewall rules to allow the communication between the CAP and the CAPS manager. By default, Router OS adds the following firewall rule to allow local CAPSMAN to communicate with the local CAP. But all of the local CAPSMAN communication will be blocked by the following rule, also added by default. That prohibits all traffic coming to the router from outside the LAN interface list. That's because all of the CAPSMAN traffic looks like this to the router. Notice how the in and out interfaces are shown as unknown in the logs because CAPSMAN uses the MAC layer instead of the IP layer for the communication which makes the traffic appear to be invalid. There are two solutions to this. First, configure the local CAP to use 127.0.0.1 as the CAPSMAN address. Which will make it use the IP layer for CAPSMAN communication and will therefore honor the local loopback firewall rule. Alternatively, add a new firewall input rule. For everything going to the router not just passing through, to allow traffic from the local address type into the local address type of the router and place it before anything that is blocking non-local traffic. This concludes our introduction to CAPSMAN, understanding its purpose, and how to work with it. In upcoming videos and articles, we will learn how to configure CAPSMAN. Stay tuned for upcoming videos and articles where we'll delve into the detailed setup and configuration of CAPSMAN. Don't forget to subscribe for more Mikrotik tutorials and networking insights. Thank you for watching, and happy networking!